Okay, so we finished uh, tying all those in. As you see, I just used a uh, six-strand wire, um, screwed it into each of the terminals. So you see, it's the uh, the black, and then I've got the red, brown, uh, green, blue, and white ones there. That's just for a little uh, visual indication, make it easier when we're wiring up later. Now what I'm going to do is fish these, fish the wire down through the shaft here. Bottom. All right, so now we want to hook our light modules up. And like I said, you can put these in any order. Uh, there's ribbon connector in the base. You see the connector on the top. And uh, usually the easiest way you see on the connector, there's uh, two little ridges there. So uh, kind of a little poke yoke that you can't uh, put it in the wrong way. The easiest thing to do is push that in there. Um, be careful with these where it touch goes into the circuitry, the little circuit board inside. Uh, you don't want to jerk on that too hard or anything, or you can uh, tear that off of the board. So be gentle with those connectors. Then what you're going to notice is uh, on the top of each module is a small triangular arrow. On the base of the next module, you're going to see a lock and unlock. What you want to do is line up the arrow to the unlock, push it together, give it a little rotate until you hear that click. So we'll go ahead and put the rest of these modules together. You'll see this is a pretty, uh, pretty easy operation here as far as uh, putting the light together. And like I said, you can put the modules in, in any order that you want. Um, just hook those together as such. Press it in there. All right, and then you put the, uh, put the little cap on the top. Then you can just attach the whole thing to the base. Line up your uh, your lock and your unlock. Uh, rotate it so you hear the click and it locks. Uh, and then at that point, really we're ready to uh, to go with the light. Okay, so now we'll uh, demonstrate the light here. Just uh, we're using 24 volt uh, lights here, so just do a quick uh, demonstration on it. So you've got your uh, your red light amber light, green, uh, blue, and your white. Okay, so now if you, uh, if you did want to use the alarm, uh, like I said, that's going to tie to your blue light. So if you actually want to tie the alarm to go off with the blue light, you can do that, or you can remove the blue light module. Uh, and just put the alarm on there. But in this case, just to kind of show you how easy it is, uh, what we will do is just demonstrate it this way. So now, so you see, uh, now it's not a real loud alarm, similar to a smoke detector going off, so uh, that works best in environments that aren't too loud. Uh, if you have a fairly loud environment, the uh, thing you want to keep in mind is that the people who probably need to hear the alarm uh, to be notified may not hear it, while the person who already knows they have a problem uh, isn't just going to annoy them. So keep that in mind as far as the alarm. There are some other ones that uh, we will be putting online later that are louder. Um, or you can move up to some of our other products like a plane signal unit or something like that if you need a, a louder uh, alert. So uh, if you have any questions about this uh, or any of the products or anything like that, please feel free to email us. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.